Hello guys, welcome. So I am finally returning to Sade and I've taken some of your requests for my last Sade reaction specifically. And I must say I am excited because it's been far too long. So let's get into it. Starting off with, is it a crime? I see a saxophone. I'm already happy. Everything about this is so gorgeous. I love how she slid up to that note. This is so soothing. Oh my gosh. I mean, I was already sold once I heard the intro. But it just keeps getting better and better and better.
Well, Shade, I will say, it is indeed a crime to make a song that good. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. No, but seriously, that song was absolute gold. Gold in my ear holes. Could I have stated that in a less vulgar way? Absolutely, but I chose not to, so deal with it. Also, not to be a jerk here, but I feel like if she wore a matte liquid lipstick, that whole lipstick smearing with his thumb thing would not have happened. Then again, I don't know if matte liquid lips were a thing when this video was filmed, so <laughs> I will excuse that mishap. Also, he shouldn't have done that in the first place. All right, next up is No Ordinary Love. Oh, they are going to kill me with these bass lines. And apparently we are mermaiding now. I'm here for it. is so mesmerizing over this instrumentation. And the guitar. Oh my gosh. I think this is going to be a new favorite of mine. Sweet mother of pearl was that instrumentation, everything, and more. Once again, they've just killed me musically. But also, subject-wise, I feel like that song 
could tie into Is It a Crime? In my opinion, both of those songs are dealing with the pushes and pulls of a relationship that simply shouldn't be. <laughs> and I feel like I just got two different sides of that from the same perspective, which is very interesting. All right, next up is The Sweetest Taboo. Hey, is that the same actor from the Is It A Crime video? Or am I just crazy? Oh, wait, is this a continuation? Seems like it, but I could be wrong. Beautiful harmony. Honestly, this song just feels like a giant jam session.
Okay, so this came before Is It a Crime? Which makes a lot more sense. Yeah, as I began to pay more attention to the lyrics in Sweetest Taboo, I started to wonder if that came before Is It a Crime? So yeah, I messed up the sequence with those two. But it's okay, I still got the storyline, I think. And more importantly, I still found each song and music video to be an enjoyable experience. Alright, lastly, we have Your Love is King. You guys know I love when they get saxy. Okay, well, I have two immediate thoughts. One, my favorite part of that song on my initial listen would have to be the outro. I could have listened to that outro go on for another three minutes. I love how the instruments and the vocals were tag teaming each other. It just created such an interesting and captivating blend. And of course, they get bonus points for any song that includes a saxophone, because that's how I roll. And secondly, shout out to whoever was doing her makeup at this time because her face is always beat to perfection. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I said this in my last Shade video, but I feel like I've just left a jazz bar and it's honestly great. Ugh, it's like I can smell the cigar smoke. And the colognes and alcohol breath of various grown men. My two favorites on my initial listen would have to be Is It a Crime and No Ordinary Love. 
those two I instantly connected with. I guess that's all for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so we can chat. Let me know what you thought of these songs and the music videos and what you'd like me to react to next. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye!